Hey fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Before we start with the show, don't forget to subscribe and also activate notifications. Let's start with the show! What is up guys? This is the Game Hunter. Another episode of Rise of Civilization. Let's keep rocking and today we're gonna talk about teleports. Teleports. Why teleporting is so important? Well, <laughs> you want to make sure you're close to your teammates. If you're too far from them, you won't be able to join any uh, rallies against a barbarian fort or uh, helping your teammates if you are at work. For example, if you want to reinforce this teammate, let's see how far we are. Tapping join and let's see how far are we from this teammate. New troops are coming. What? March 45. Look at the bottom right corner. March is going to take me 45 minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> that is an insane. That is an insane amount of time. Can you believe it? Somebody's attacking my teammate. I won't be able to get there. Not a chance. It's so, so difficult to get there on time. So you have to stay close to your teammates. So. Be careful. Also, always explore the map and, and see what is the territory where your teammates are, the alliance, and then just try to teleport as close as possible. Also, remember, if you teleport yourself close to your teammates, you're going to be able to also get the support of your teammates, of your alliance, in case somebody's trying to attack you. If you're too far away, nobody's going to save you, man. If you're like a, an hour away marching from the rest of your alliance members, Nobody in the Alliance is going to waste so much time to go there and trying to help you. And you know what? Most of the time, if it's a it's a important and it's a respectful Alliance, they're going to kick you right away. I mean, they're going to ask you to please TP as fast, soon as possible close to the fortress or the rest of your team. So now we need to start looking for another place, a new home. Huh? So try to be as close as possible and I'm trying to follow all the red uh, borders those are the borders for my alliance at this point and i think i'm getting closer and closer the problem with the tps with teleports is that the area has to be clean hmm exactly <laughs> that could be trouble the targeted teleport is uh, not helping me right now remember we got targeted teleport random teleports and also territorial teleport the territorial teleport only allow you to teleport yourself inside the borders or in yeah actually inside the borders of the alliance but right now with the targeted teleport we're in big trouble there is really no room in here and that's when i'm using one of these otherwise i will use another one all right so the it, it and again you you have to you need to find a spot close to your teammate and and also to make sure that you're gonna be supported by them too okay so in here is looking much better you see right now territorial teleport so we can use that territorial instead of the the other one and in this position i think we're in good shape and surrounded with some high level teammates they can help me and provide me support in case i need it and also the resources in this area are are, are much better <laughs> definitely better in this area of the map so here we go, new location, closer to the Alliance. Now we are in range. Now we can start joining all the rallies. Now we can be ready to attack opponents and be make sure that we can help our teammates. Targeted teleport, this is the one that I was telling you. you need to be close to the, to the, no, yeah, close to the, the territorial is the one inside the Alliance te the territory. And also we have this random. The random is gonna be anywhere. Anywhere in the map, and how you gonna? How can you get a free teleport? Well, it, it, actually, the the news are not that great because you're gonna be teleport automatically anywhere in the map when somebody attack you and the walls burn down. Mm, that's not good. Yeah, I hope, I hope nobody, none of you guys will be teleported like that because it's really sad when somebody attack you and destroy the walls and the walls burn out and you don't have time to to reinforce them and save them uh, well you're gonna get moved to another location and again uh, i think i mentioned this in some previous episode but when we are close to an alliance and inside the uh, alliance territory all the gathering is faster we got a bonus of 25 percent speed in gathering 
25%. And any of those resources inside the Alliance territories will be towards the Alliance resources. Okay, so that's why it's another important thing to take in consideration. You have to be close to your teammates if you want to survive in the game. So I have to make this quick episode about the teleporting because I, some of my friends were asking me, say, uh, do I need to be close to my alliance? I, I can be in this corner of the map and just be chilling and nobody's going to bother me. No, my friend, that's not a good idea. You definitely need to move to a closer location so you're going to start receiving the bonuses or being close to an alliance resources from the resources, uh, the alliance territory. And, and then you can feel more relaxed. I mean, you're going to be farming a lot, a lot more comfortable. You can be gathering resources knowing that your teammates are in the area in case something happens, something breaks loose. Um, and also you're close to the territory to provide support or reinforce the Alliance Fortress or maybe provide support to the Alliance Flags. Okay, you don't want the opponent to destroy your flags or your <laughs> otherwise your alliance is going down. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Another episode, Rise of Civilization. I will see you in the next one. Take care, fellas.